Hi, Grant Dixon here, New Zealand Fishing News. We're out off the Mungafai Bar in a Kingfisher 510 Mini Cab. Great little boat made by Kingfisher in the Bay of Plenty. This one's owned by Sam from Spec Media, and um, Spec's probably the right name for it because this is a really highly specced up little boat. It's a great fishing craft. Sam's in his lure fishing, so the beauty of this boat, and the thing that strikes you straight away, is the volume. It's a big volume boat. 510 isn't probably a fair description, it should be named bigger than that. A very, very stable boat, a couple or three anglers can fish on one side, won't move. Sam uh, has quite a bit of bling on this boat, the, starting with the Min Coder. He's got the Min Coder up there to hold him over the, the fish and to, uh, when he's soft baiting, perfect for moving him around. That talks to the Hummingbird, and the Hummingbird in turn is linked to the Honda 90. Now Sam has got a 90 on this boat and which is perfectly adequate probably for your, for your average boat but with all the extra stuff that he's loaded a 135 and probably I understand it's going to be the first in the country is going to be on, the, on this transfer shortly. We talked a little bit about bling. For those millennials who like to keep everything and in touch with the rest of the world uh, you've got an automatic um, cell phone charger there you just put it in and it holds it in place and you stayed in contact with the rest of the world which seems to be so important these days. So that's basically the diff. A couple of bolster seats that can fold either way so you can sit if you're stray lining out the back or um, push them back for when you're underway. U-deck underfloor, lots of um, comfort in that respect. And this boat talking of lots of, well there's lots of storage. You've got it up forward under the casting platform, you've got it under the centre console, you've got it at the back here, uh, this is where the battery system goes and under the, the central bait board and on underneath the bait board or incorporating part of it, apart from the rod holders, a reasonable size live bait tank. So they are thinking of designing these boats with underfloor tanks but at the moment Sam is running two 45 litre tote tanks. And with the economy that the Hondas are known for, um, that's going to give you a fair bit of range. Really impressed with the way this boat goes. When it goes around the corner, man, it's like it goes around on rails, but there's just enough tip in that you don't feel as though you're going to get thrown over the side. Um, I've had this at full speed, turned it sharp, and it not quite turned within its length, but the, I was amazed at how stable it was through the turn. Coming out through the Mangawai Bar, it's probably about half a metre outgoing tide in the rougher water. It was absolutely, I was very impressed by how it cut through. Um, with cats quite often you get quite a bit of slap, but that didn't seem to be evident on this and it drove up and over the swell. I deliberately went slightly outside the normal line to get a bit of um, rough water and it handled it very well. Very, very, um, felt very, very safe in the boat. Great little rig. Especially if you're fishing, it's got all those attributes you want. It handles well, stable, lots of room. Great. Big thumbs up for the Kingfisher 510.